Hey there folks, this is David on David's Brain. Welcome back to our Let's Play Persona 5 Royal for the PS4. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, ring the bell, and contribute to my Patreon. Links in the description at the bottom. Alright, so, um, well, figured out a little scafu with my schedule there, but, uh, I know how to work around it. Oh yeah, and I'm hanging around with Mishima. Again. Alright, so here we go. The social studies trip. And that means one thing. Yep. Pancakes. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. No dog. Ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding. And... Huh. He ain't even listening. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Let's get any more obvious. Thank you. So sleepy. Wow. He's not even listening to what I said. So, the best parts are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna relax. I'm like a cow, I just sleep standing up at this point. Okay, okay I'm awake now. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. My apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? You've got a slamming bot after all. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be slamming right to you if you don't uh, back off. I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from you, day or night. All right, fine. I'll send 25 uh, pizzas your yeah. way. Enjoy the bill, asshole. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh... Let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. Damn it. This sucks. Just... Oh, what a pain in the ass. This is totally killing my vibe. Do chill. Oh, God, it's like untangling Christmas lights. Well, oh, time's 10. to be guests why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor this is bullshit I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better quiet down will you i get how you feel though that sucked for the both of us well, we gotta do more of this tomorrow too no flaking out ryuji i know i know I gotta be a good boy, right? Well, being phantom thieves ain't easy. Well, next time you're in the bathroom, we uh... straight from here today. Ooh. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I wanna go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! Ooh, pancakes? It looked delicious! What was that? Oh, you mean Dome Town? 
the round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Well, I mean... I like cats can get on anyways. Well, true. Really? Yeah, no. Really? You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but... You'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Woo! Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. Scaredy cat. Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. Ah, where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? Wow! Oh. <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. <laughs> uh, cake? Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. Uh... Hold on a second here. And yep, Morgana was the only one who mentioned pancakes, so... Yeah. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow anyways. Come on, let's get to Dome Town. All right, Dome Town. Let's see, Sweet Obashi. An entertainment hub built around the stadium, home to many universities. All right. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? Um, no, unless you want to go in. Oh, you want to get cake beforehand? Oh, then you'll really go and start blowing chunks. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. Oh, you lightweight. This is why I spoke against it. Mm, dude, it's not fair. Oh, using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Um. Let's go home. We have another full Not day much of a tomorrow. breakfast for dinner kind of guy, but hey, to each their own. Yeah, no, when I want dinner, I want myself some meat or some steak. Pancakes for oh. breakfast. End of story. They're going to use at the TV station tomorrow, right? Well, try not to stand out too much. That's the reunion's thing. Let's see. The artist's sudden change of heart came as a huge surprise to the art world. It's so unclear what led Mr. Badarame to confess his crimes. Hmm. Just like with Kamashita, right? He hasn't realized what happened to him. And it's for the best. Hmm. All right. Let's see here. How can I help you? All right, and over to Kichi Joji. Let's see. Not exactly where I was. Not exactly what I was looking for when I was uh, dropping off in the shopping district, but okay. Let's do it.
Alright, uh, clothing grab bag. Let's see if we get anything interesting here. Old ghastly dress and old mythical scarf. Not sure if it's um, just random reloads from the previous palace or what. Reloads itself depending on uh, what palace uh, what palace is completed. Probably update once we uh, uh, do stuff once we clear uh, get to the next palace. Hey, don't piss me off, otherwise Granny's gonna bust a chap in your ass. Mm -hmm. Everyone's talking about Monorame, but I guess it's no surprise given how well known he is. Uh, he ain't a real artist, just a skeevy lion pig acting like in a personal culture. Well, aren't culture are fine and all, but yeah, we're all human. Morality aside, money's important. I can understand how it can become a person's top priority. Seriously? I can't believe what I'm hearing. Money ain't everything. Well, I mean, you know, just uh, don't let money be the number one priority, that's what I'm saying. Alright. Welcome! Hey! Did you forget already? You can play billiards in this place too. Well, it's up to you to decide whether you want to play darts or billiards. What do you play? Alright, billiards. Hmm. Time will pass if you play billiards. However, you'll have the ability to invite your teammates to play with you. By, uh, by, uh, by concentrating, you may be able to improve an unexpected social stat. You can also deepen your bond with your teammates. What do you want to do? Alright, yeah. Thank you! Should do it for now. You look pretty stiffy when you're holding a Q-stick. No kidding, he's got the aura of a pro. Have you played somewhere before? You do seem to know some unexpected stuff. Uh, I'll leave it to your imagination. Not bad. Man, what a tease. I think we're in for a good show here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting pumped now. Alright, let's get started. Uh, Jeffrey? Break out Lucille. Now then. Will you go boldly or with caution? The decision here is important. <laughs> oh man, that was fun! My arms are killing me now! Glad to see everyone have fun! I gotta say though, wow. thanks to playing billiards, you've got more, expre uh, more experience in precise hand movements, haven't you? Ah, proficiency. That was time well spent. A hustler's journey. Look at how much time we spent, and what fulfilling time it was. Hey there, sorry to interrupt your fun. Uh, billiards is a lot of it, and uh, uh, um, billiards is a lot of intricacies, doesn't it? But well, I'm glad you're taking a liking to the game. And if you'd like to learn more about it, there's a book I recommend reading. It's called Expert Billiards. It covers everything from the basics to practical applications. The only problem is it's quite a rare book. You might have some difficulty finding it. You may have a better chance of getting at a specialty shop that sells sports supplies as opposed to an ordinary bookstore. Oops, I didn't mean to hold you up right as you were leaving. Uh, please do come again. I see. A book on billiards, huh? Next time we're free, we should go check to see if we can find a sporting goods store. And I know... And I know just the place. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah, it's Akechi! Oh, coming. he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. 
after his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Oh, hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi-kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Humble brag much. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, detective? Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention too, Akechi-kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. You mean Santa oh, if he did, exist? I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. You just pissed off Big Boss! But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You have the most radiant charisma. Oh, Jesus. I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Of course they do. About 30% or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, you. All right, let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these Phantom Thieves if they were real? Well, they definitely do more than the cops, that's for damn certain. <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, akechi -kun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, there's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? Uh, well, what would you think? Ah, throwing the question back at me. Well, this is my opinion on the topic. Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh. Please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. Uh -huh. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kind of seemed like what he was saying might be right. All, all good stink charmers do. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Of course. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Righto. Oh, 
it's you. Ah, Pink! I, I can't see. Right, hi. How are you? I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. While they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Well, you can at least you can appreciate the logic. It's possible that this group is just as you believe, and they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. <laughs> well, you would think that. But me, on the other hand, if they truly do stand behind their justice, they fight to the bitter end. You really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Uh, I'd love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. Uh-huh. Uh, ha, ha, yep. Finally, somebody I could sharpen my wits against. There was a long time coming, too. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. Explain yourself. Kid, I own the police. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the Justice Persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Justice. All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. Might as well. And registered. Well, Yay! I hope to see you again sometime soon. By all means. Although if you send me any spam or something, I'm coming after you. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. Right. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. <sighs> just breathe in the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. Well, I'll just run on back to the bathroom then, dude. Jeez. Although I can admit, I tend to be a bit of full of hot air myself. <laughs> what a boring field trip. We didn't even find any worthwhile targets. That catchy bastard. Thinking about what he says is pissing me off again. He clearly tried to discredit everything we were doing. And he just had to, he just had to say it on live TV, too. Uh, don't be so sour. Uh, there are, without a doubt, people we've saved. Uh, those people could not have been saved enough for the heroics of the Phantom Thieves. I'm living proof of that. Ah, uh, what a nice thing to say! Still, was what a catchy could have said actually wrong? I feel like he had a point. But why you gotta bring it up now? I mean, is it really okay to be doing this to people just because they're criminals? Doesn't it seem a little selfish? We are, oh, we are Phantom Thieves on. I doubt, any, I doubt everyone would forgive us for what we did to Monorame. Yet, I still decided that it was a necessary act. Kamashita too. We weren't going to do shit about him through any kind of normal methods. It's true, but... What do you think, Ren? Are we being selfish? Eh... Uh, well, he, there is a little kernel of truth in there. If that type of power fell into people with less noble intentions, well, 
you can already see the uh, you can already imagine the consequences. Getting innocent people to admit various kinds of unrelated crimes, the, spir uh, the world spiraling into chaos, and yeah, like uh, like Akechi said, it's basically a form of mind control. But on the other hand, uh, the people who question, well, yeah, uh, uh, like or like Ryuji said, uh, getting them to confess their crimes and dealing with them through normal methods wouldn't work, and, and in fact, would just allow the uh, allow Kamoshida Mararame to continue uh, continue on with their atrocities. So. Case by case basis. It's tough. I believe our best path forward is sticking to our justice, not that of the law. But shouldn't that be enough? And with the unanimous decision a rule in place, I doubt we'll lose our way. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for bringing it up. And don't worry, I'm not thinking about quitting the fan days or anything. Just you watch and catchy. Someday you're totally gonna see who was right. Okay, let's talk. Uh, let's stop talking about this for now. That detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. God, I'm furious! You heard what Akechi said, right, Amamiya? How dare he declare the fan that these are criminals? As the administrator of the fan of the auto website, I can't say quiet about this. I'm going to show Akechi how uh, people online really feel. Oh, God, no. I'm guessing, let's see, lots of death threats, rape threats, and various other sorts of horrible shit. Do not get the internet involved on an attack crusade, uh, dude. It never, ever works out well. I'll change up this. Why is he, of all people, getting angry about this? Anyway, he means the survey on the fan site, right? I guess we should look forward to it. Ooh, update of the thieves dead. But yeah, dude, again, trying to round up a uh, round up an internet attack campaign, it hardly ever works out. And yeah, the only reason Mishima is getting so uh, so pissy about this is because he's riding our coattails. Yeah, no, it's pretty damn obvious that he's trying to use this to uh, basically go and get what. Frankly, he thinks he's owed a slice of the pie because of all the abuse he took all his life, and yeah, with Kamoshida. So he's basically just using the fan of these popularity to just go and, yeah, basically go and claim what he thinks is that he was owed. All right, first a quick trip to the team's den. Oh yeah, I updated the thieves' den a little bit here. Yeah, a giant statue of modern. Let's see, music player. Oh yeah, I got Morgana's car forms, some vending machines, a Manorame's shadow form, uh, the infinite spring, and let's see here, the press conference, uh, press conference uh, area, and Morgana's car form. Hey, you know I've been wondering, what made you think you could turn into a car? What do you mean? It's kind of weird, man. Do people just go around daily life thinking about turning into cars and shit? Well, now again, because my neighbor Totoro reference. No. I'll have you know, I thought long and hard about the challenges we have to overcome. I use that as training. You should all be thanking me for the rigor for my rigorous efforts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Thanks, Cargana. <sighs> if you're gonna give me a nickname, at least make it sound cool. Mmm. Yeah, all aboard the Magic Kitty Bus. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, music player. Oh yeah, and unlocked uh, the decor for Manorame's palace, and oh good lord, my eyes! Oh good lord, everything is painted gold! How bizarre! Oh, and look at that. There's uh, there's even Shadow Manorame behind his demon behind behind his shadow form. Let's see, Azazel. The form of Manorame's twisted desires. Perhaps he also thought of himself as a work of art, not just his students. Yeah, the Infinite Spring. How Manorame views the people he sacrificed. For him, his princesses were simply a part of his art pieces. And yeah, no, seeing stuff like this and Kamoshida's statue is only just goes and, yeah, justifies and validates uh, the Phantom Thieves. Yeah, letting guys like that run around in the world unopposed, preying on the weak and helpless, 
yeah, nobody with any moral conscience then has the power to do so, which is going to let that happen. Anyways. Just add this. Anyways, enough of my preaching. Problem, Becky. Oh god, just as long as you don't do the cutesy voice again, we should be good. So the fan these were the bad guys? I guess now that you mentioned it. I felt that way the whole time. And yeah, the people are just nothing but sheep. It's just brainwashing, isn't it? Yeah, at least one of them actually brings up that decent point. But again, uh, what matters is that the Phantom Thieves' uh, actions will prove oh uh, the fan thieves actions will prove themselves. Actions speak louder than words and all that. You know, all you have to do is just earn, uh, is just work hard and earn the hearts and minds of the people. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. Oh, seriously, back in my day, uh, I saw people that could, uh, that could kick people so hard they blew up. people still don't think we're real. Again, it takes... Uh, Rome wasn't built in the day, plant the seed, and watch the tree grow. I'm so pumped! Oh, and there's horror there. Too cool! Who? I heard his dad has some big financial conglomerate. Mm. Man, that detective from yesterday really pissed me off. Was some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Dude, turn down the dial. Ow. Thank you. You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. It'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. Um. Uh. Hey, you're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some. Pretty please. Bye. Just ate the last one. Mimi! You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? Oh, I didn't get to my pose yet. Seems to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Envious. That's the word Are you're looking for. Been on us again. You said before we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. Well, and here are this. Piss off. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. 
There's no need to shout. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Hmm. We all have our own crosses to bear, it seems. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. Well, when you put it like that... It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? Well, do you have any ideas who this next hotshot could be? Uh, hmm. I ain't got a thing yet. <sighs> Damn it, this is real irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, yeah, but mean to hey, ask. I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not uh. only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki San's. I no! Aunt's house. No! I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. No creep. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Oh, wait, what? Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? Um, maybe a manga cafe? I don't have the money. Then why'd you leave? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Perfect. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. All right, welcome party. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. Uh, right. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. <sighs> Shut it, you. Oh yeah, hey boss, I know about probation and all that, but hey, I got a, I got a roommate here. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it though. It's classy. People dude. refer to that as retro. That too. Hmm. Who are they? Hello. A girl too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. True. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really, he's been great. Huh, sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. Right, right. Wow, it's delicious. Hmm, indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah, I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. Blah. I would get on Ryuji's Blah. case here, but... It's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. I would get on his case, but I can't stand coffee either. I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I wanna see. It's only an attic. 
Oh, man. Ah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? That's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have, either. Hey! You gotta get up here! This place is freaking insane! Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. Don't get any ideas, you old billy goat. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm, sweet girl. Huh. What do you think of this room? I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real? Oh! See? A ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? <coughs> well, sit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. Like I said, sheep. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. You were planning on discussing that today, right? Right. Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Uh. Well, what about uh, what about Mishima's? Uh, what about uh, what about Mishima's site? I've been looking. There hasn't been anything good out there lately, though. Plus, it's not like anyone ever talks about the big targets on there. Damn it. I'm never gonna prove a Kenji wrong at this rate. Mm. What the? Is that a monster? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. Oh, good lord. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. So, how about that welcome party? Oh, right. Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. What is it with people so, eating breakfast and not for dinner? Alright, fine by me. Okay, hot pot it is! Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. But just make sure you save the receipts. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. Alright, hold on a second. Let's do it. See where Sojiro would stash that pot. Hey, dude, you got any grass on you? I covered the phantoms. There's a high appeal among young people and are said to have be evolved with Mr. Madarama's confession. The methods are unknown, and many are voicing concern that this group may be dangerous, but. Yep, whatever. Let them blow smoke. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Uh, what? Um, uh, wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was Ahn, right? She's a nice girl. Yeah, she is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. 
Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Uh, Where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Right, I think maybe that's uh Let's see here. Let's see, uh Ah. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Yeah, just be careful with the fire, okay? You got it, Chief. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Uh, sadly, yeah. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Uh... Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm hmm it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? <sighs> oh, I can't eat another bite. Lightweight, you always that was work. delicious, Lady On. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some. Quiet. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. No. Guys, no. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. She's asleep already? Yeah, it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. Fair enough. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? 
Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Well, get comfortable. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? The goddamn no. Batman? Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... Uh, that is bullshit! Shut up. You're done for. Not once You're I get through with you. What happens when you cross me? Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. And this man got injured. You fucking says bitch! She says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? We'll get to him later. But yeah, we've been seeing him all throughout, but yeah, no. It's Shido. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Possibly. Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. Don't worry. No doubt. Hmm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. 
kinship. Look, That's not what I'm you're helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. Right, if you right. Don't get stronger, investigating mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Of course. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. Ah, uh, the Billy Goat just has the thing for the lady, you know. Hmm. He's a softie. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Make sure you get back safe. Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Good to see you got your priorities in place. Oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Oh, take it like Old a man. like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Uh, she's nice. Oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with On. <laughs> oh, please don't. Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though, is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. Oh, not this again. Two. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? Well, you tell me. I was an idiot for asking. No, you're I'm just an idiot other way. Duty, you know? Otherwise. And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm. Mm. Still... It's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Oh, you guys are such little dainty flowers. Uh, alright, so... Yusuke, your thoughts? something happen? Aren't you going to sleep yet? I'll be fine here. I sleep in my studio on occasion, so this is luxurious by comparison. Ooh! Check out the pictures I took today! <laughs> Not bad, right? The steam fogged up his glasses. Another of the many charms of eating hot pot, I suppose. Oh man, I keep looking back at this picture and Ren's face is still hilarious. Oh yeah, you guys still at Ren's place, right? Don't go make any trouble for him, okay? Of course. I'd like to think I'm not that socially graceless. All I have is a warm futon and a traditional Japanese breakfast. That's asking a lot! Alright, so... I'm going to protect my sleepy beauty, no. But I'm still awake! I'm not talking about you! Wait, don't you drop on me! And on that note, let's call it a day. So until next time, folks, I'm David on David's brain. See you when I see ya, bye-bye!